Local families in need went home with beds and mattresses for their children tonight. Eyewitness News Ben Walls was in Henderson for the moments families were able to bring those items home. Sunday marks the eighth year that the Volunteer and Information Center of Henderson has supplied beds and mattresses to families. The center says some of the recipient families only have air mattresses, only have beds which children and parents have to share, or have no beds at all. The center says the area family resource coordinators are familiar with these families in Henderson and that it is an ongoing situation. This program helps to alleviate a little bit of that, but we know that there are a lot more children out there that do not have a bed. And so the word gets out by the schools to the families as much as they can. And so then the families come and apply and if they qualify, then they get the beds for their kids. Those who received beds also went home with sheets, a blanket, a pillow, and a bag of toiletries. Jack Cassidy now has a bed of his own after sharing a bunk bed with his brother, Gabe. I think it'll, like, fix my posture and let me sleep better because my old bed, like, it was one of those beds where it could be a bed and you can turn it into a couch by raising up the back. But the part that you would sit on if it was a couch, it was, like, curving down like a little sink hole or something like that. So whenever I was laying down, I was laying down like curved. With a new bed, Cassidy says he's also looking forward to rearranging and reorganizing his room. It'll probably feel a little weird because the bed that I've been sleeping in, I've been sleeping in it for like three years, so I'm not going to be used to the big old mattress or anything like that. The Volunteer and Information Center says the event would not happen without its volunteers. Some of them include workers from International Paper. They spent time moving the beds out of the Housing Authority building on Sunday. And seeing the look on the kids' faces when they got the first bed and they had a bed to sleep in that night, it just made us want to continue this partnership. 283 children in Henderson County have now received beds under the center's program. In Henderson, Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.